Today we're going to be working with the ESP32-S2 MicroPython and getting an ST7735-S board or display to work. It's a TFT screen. Um, they're pretty inexpensive on AliExpress. You can get these boards from as little as $198 each. When I first started to try to get this to work, it was quite cumbersome because the pins on the display did not line up or they did not make sense to me because the pins on the display uh, have ground VCC. Let's look at this. So there's eight pins listed on the back. The pins that are on the device are ground VCC, SCK, SDA, RES, RS, CS, and then LEDA. So what we're going to need to do now is to figure out what internal pins the ESP is using for its SPI connection. Now we could define the SPI connection just using software, using MicroPython itself, but the built-in hardware on the ESP or the Espressive chip is going to allow for a faster connection. Since this is a display board, you're probably going to want to have the highest refresh speed that you can have. So we are going to enter in some commands to find out what the SPI pins are already defined as. And we'll do that. Import machine. Uh, print machine dot pin SPI one. And there we go. So with this information, we can take the output from the machine pin SPI, and we want to write it down in our notes. I've made this sheet for you where you can fill out what the SCK and SDA are. And remember, SDA is the MOSI value on machine pin 1, and SCK is just the SCK value. So you're going to want to have already downloaded the files in the repository that I made for you guys. If you look at the download in the required drivers and files, you'll see that you'll want to download these two and this one from the two different repository links and you're going to want to push those onto the board. You will also want to put the boot.py from the repository linked in the description um, and that's the main file that we're going to be using for the rest of this tutorial. So this is how we're going to wire it up. The board already takes the 5 volt input from the USB. On the right side, we have the VBUS. We're just going to snag the ground on the outmost pins. There are pins underneath this, but uh, we're just using the out outermost row. So you'll want to connect the 3V3 to your power rail positive on the bottom, the ground to the top. And then this shows you how they're wired. So on the TFT screen on the left, ground is to ground on the ESP32. VCC is to 3V3. SCK is to SCK. In my case, it's pin 7 if you're on the ESP32S2. You'll have to run that command, print machine.spi1, to see what the SCK and what the SDA are. SDA is also called MOSI. SCK is connected to SCK. SDA is connected to MOSI. Reset is connected to, this is what we defined. I, I defined pin 9 um, because it was close to the other ones. Same with 5 and 3. And the last thing is LEDA. Pin LEDA, which is the backlight. Now, right now, I just have a resistor coming from 3V3. So this is how we're going to wire everything up. And SDA here is also called MOSI. So once you wire it up like this, you should be able to connect. Now, let's take a look at what that looks like. Once you have it wired up properly, you will want to open up the boot.py file. So the boot.py file, uh, there is a function at the top, has the imports. We want to scroll down to this section um, that doesn't say <laughs> begin user. Uh, I modified it later. But you're going to want to change the TFTCS 
TFT reset and TFT A0. Those are the only three, three that you have to enter in. These two, they're commented out, 11 and 7, because those are based off of the internal pins. And actually, since we are saying SPI equals SPI, this pulls it from the machine library, so it will pull it from SPI1. So if by chance you're on a board and you try to use SPI2, you will also want to modify this to be SPI2. Um, I can actually use SPI2 on the ESP32 S2. Uh, the output is actually using uh, SCK36 and MOSI35, but I don't want to confuse you. So just modify these three, um, these pins, if you have different pins than I do. Um, and the rest of the code should work. So I have connected it, and now I'm going to run boot.py. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to run it. Let's see what the board does. Awesome. It runs the test command that we put inside of it. So now we have the 1.77 TFT screen running on a MicroPython board through SPI connection. If you like my tutorials, please like or subscribe. Um, I'm really excited about many projects. I mostly work on open source and open hardware projects, such as Open Muscle, which is a open source AI prosthetic sensor. And uh, I love doing YouTube in the side, but I just wanted to share today uh, how I got the ST7735S an integrated circuit driver board to work, the TFT screen to work on an ESP32 S2 Mini by Wemos using MicroPython. I know that's a mouthful, but you, some, some of these things you just have to brute force through. Like, why are there different names? There's lots of trial and error involved. There's probably a way where you could do this a little bit more structured, but that's not my style. So, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and let's see if we can make a positive difference in this world.